Hi there, it's Doug Stewart from DougStewartOnline.com and welcome to this video. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up Google Analytics for your website or for your blog. Now if you haven't already done so, what you need to do first of all is to uh, create an account with Google. So you can do that from this page which is www.google.com forward slash analytics. Now as you can see we're already on the front page and you'll see on the right hand side here this blue box that says Access Analytics. Now that's only for once you've set up your Google account. Uh, if you haven't already done so you need to sign up which you can do so from this link that's underneath which says sign up now. So just click on this link and it takes you to another page where you can actually sign in to the analyti analytics from here as well but since you haven't got an account yet you need to come onto the left hand side and click on sign up now. So this is on creating an account page okay so in this top box it's um, it requires your current email address now this will be used to sign in to your Google account or and also onto your Google Analytics page so you need to type in there your, your current email address then underneath you need to choose a password. Uh, the next box down is just re-entering the password you've, you've chosen. And then at the bottom you have word verification. So you need to place these, these letters into this box at the, at the bottom here. Um, all that does is to make sure that you are a human being and not um, a spam machine. And then once you've done that, click on I accept and create my account and Google will create a new account for you. So I'm going to stop right here and uh, wait until you've done that and I'll catch you on the other side where I'll be showing you how to insert Google Analytics onto your blog. OK, welcome back to this tutorial on how to insert Google Analytics. Now you've already signed up for your Google account so now you can come onto google.com forward slash analytics and click on the blue box that says access analytics. So this basically takes you into the back area of GA and the first thing you need to do is to create a GA account um, which is completely different to your Google account I should point out. This is actually creating an analytics account for, for yourself and um, Google Analytics will actually create a reference number um, which you need to insert into the GA code so I'll be showing you how to do that. So first thing you need to do is to come up to the right hand side here, the top right hand side and click on create new account. So if you come down to the sign up button on the bottom left, just say yes. Now first of all you need to insert your website's URL so you've got HTTP and then you just type in your domain name .com, whatever it may be, or .co.uk or net or org. Uh, underneath there it's uh, the account name which would be your name and then you have the time zone, country or territory so it could be the United States, it could be Australia, it could be UK, wherever it is that's where you type in uh, the country and then time zone underneath there so it could be uh, GMT for UK or EST for US wherever it is uh, your time zone or whatever your time zone is that's where you uh, insert it. So <coughs> I'm going to stop there because I don't want to create another account so I'm just going to come back to um, the previous page just try and get out of here okay so what Google Analytics will do is will create a, a reference number for you that begins with UA now it's very important to keep a note of this number because you will be inserting that reference number into the GA script that will be going on to your blog or to your website so now you need to come off to the left hand side here to where it says resources and just come down to code sites and you'll see gadget tracking is here so if you just click on the link which says improved gadget tracking just expand that a bit for you and then we need to come off to the left hand side and click on tracking tracking sites 
So if we just scroll down to standard setup and you can see there's some uh, script here. So you need to highlight, right click and copy and then go into um, something like Microsoft Word and just paste it into there because it's here that you will actually change the um, reference number. You know I said to you earlier you have a UA number well this is where you insert it into uh, the GA script so you can see here there's some little X's this is where your reference number will go so you've, I think there's about six numbers so for example it could be like that Oops. and there's like a hyphen and then a single number after that okay so this is your UA number inserted into the script ready to go onto your blog so again you need just to highlight this um, copy and in the next video I'll show you how to insert it into uh, cPanel um, or the PHP for a blog okay now you've um, copied your code from Word or Notepad what you need to do now is to come on to your host gator control panel or whichever um, server you're using you need to come into the, the, the C panel and then come down to file manager uh, just double click on file manager and then go to the folder that you've got your blog files in so in this case it's um, public HTML and then come down to WP content just click on that uh, come on to your themes and then d depending on whichever theme you've chosen uh, you just need to click on that folder now you need to come down to the PHP footer um, which is where you'll be inserting your script so just right click on PHP and then just click on edit so basically what this does it this brings up your your footer uh, coding and what you need to do is to come down um, I mean you can see I've got my um, GA script inserted here already but you need to come down to where it says body which is just above the HTML tags here um, click on above the body tag and then just paste your codes above the body tag and once you've done that just come up to the right hand side at the top here and say where it says save changes click on that and that's your uh, GA code inserted into your blog now you have to remember that it takes 24 at least 24 hours for um, GA to scan your blog um, for all your visitors so sometimes it takes a little bit longer but it will get uh, registered and it will get scanned so you just need to be a little bit patient and then from then on anytime you want to um, check your um, your analytics all you need to do is to go back onto your GA um, account and just click on access analytics and you will see the um, the visitors how many visitors have come to your uh, blog so I hope that helps um, any problems please leave me a comment at dogstuartonline.com and I'll be happy to help you until next time take care